The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 10. You got the NASDAQ down 881. S&Ps are down 11. Gold contract up $3.10 at 12.02. You get silver up 6 cents, $14.13. Light sweet crude down 47 cents, $69.40 a barrel. Oh, that's right. We get a uh, holiday this week, so everything gets pushed back you a day. You got it. It's normally oil at 10.30 today, right? I believe 11 a.m. on Thursday is usually. Yeah. yeah, right. And gas will still be tomorrow. That's pretty cool. We got gas at 10.30 on Thursday, oil at 11. Right. Yeah. Notes and bonds, uh, bottom line, 10-year note down one tick, 119.28. 30-year bond off four ticks, 143.24. King dollar. King dollar down 270 ticks, 95.110. King dollar gave it up again yesterday. Uh, bottom line is that uh, King dollar is backing down has volume on the back down this morning, too. Uh, Euro. Euro is at 116, 20 to 1 US dollar. The yen is trading out at 111, 70 to 1 US dollar. And um, if we go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, at TD Ameritrade, as we do each and every day, don't forget, folks, Kevin and his team have a great program every trading day, 11 to 12, right here. Fast market. And, folks, we have fast markets. We've had it in the currencies, and I expect what you're going to see here is that this baby is going to pick up. Why? Because if you actually look at Asia last night, Asia, uh, where there's no press on what's going on, but Asia, man, took it on the chin last night. Okay. 2.69% Hang Sang. Ouch. That wants to go bust out the bottom. And those stocks, folks, uh, many of those stocks trade in the U.S. and the ETF sector, so it's going to be kind of intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How's everybody doing? Doing good. We're kicking into September. It's a beautiful thing, right? You know? Markets are moving, guys. That's for sure. Oh, my. You know, the economic data that came out this morning, uh, a little muted except for uh, the Red Book. You know, six and a half percent, Tom, on the Red Book number that came out about 8.55 uh, Eastern time. That's just a, that, that, that's an absurd number in terms of strength in the retail sector in department stores and chain stores. So, you know, another strong number from the from the retailer. Yeah. Uh, the U.S. consumer is still there, Tom. Oh, big time. Well, you know, yesterday, folks, if you hadn't seen this, you know, uh, when the Dow came back, the Dow was down 150 points. When the Dow came back, Home Depot was your, your deal. Home Depot yesterday, you talk about uh, basically taking off, and this was intraday. Uh, you know, Home Depot went from a price point of 200 to 205 bucks. <laughs> so Not bad. No. For, for, for an equity that, uh, you know, has uh, 1.4, 1.1 billion shares. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's a quarter trillion dollar company to that, move two, three percent. Quarter trillion, one quarter of Amazon. Go ahead. No, that's a <laughs> big number. You know, hey, listen, Kevin, that being said, uh, Tommy's texting me last night, right? And he gives me the number that Jeff Bezos, so picture this. Is, is it year? Is it the whole year? It's 2018. 2018. So, so okay. Eight, eight so, months about into the month, into so the year, right? Jeff Bezos, folks, right, per hour <laughs> has made $8 million per hour from January 1st. It's been a good 2018 to him. <laughs> that, that, that. It's, it's got to be nice. You go to bed, you know, you get six hours of sleep, you wake up, you got like an extra $50 million net worth. No, I mean, it's a staggering it's, amount. I believe it's $67 billion. His net worth has increased. I mean, Amazon has had a year for the ages almost, the stock. Um, that, and it, so it speaks to that type of wealth creation. Pretty remarkable when you put it in that context. Though. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's, it's pretty intense. It's intense. You know, and so of the course, size of these companies and what they're doing are, are pretty incredible in terms of, you know, think about where they were just not very long ago when they were just selling books. And now they'll sell you basically just about everything. Yes. It's a delivery mechanism. There's no doubt. And you know what I always find interesting? I say always, but there's just a couple of cases where even Apple, before Apple took off, and now I'm going back to 2004, yeah. maybe 2006, 2008. Yeah. 
as in they had the iPod. You could kind of see the acceleration and then the shares took off. As in even myself and Amazon, I know. I, you know what I'm saying? I brought it up before. I was a Prime member like nine or ten years ago. Right in front you of know, you. and even two yeah. years ago. It's amazing what it's done in terms of share price. but It's yeah. been sitting in front of all of us, folks. Exactly, that's that's right. the There's bottom just line. Just look to that right? fundamental aspect of things sometimes. You know, if you're using a product, you believe in a company, you see the promise of it. Same thing with iPods right before they had. Because if you remember, the iPod was generational before they even had the iPhone. And so there was something there. You didn't have to go on a prayer. Same thing with Amazon. They really had redeveloped the whole Internet in, in the last two years. Oh, well, they did. Everything has taken they off. They did. Yeah. So, you know, we're kicking into September. What a fast markets. What are we going to be kicking into, Kevin? Well, today, based on the, uh, you know, Jack Dorsey being in front of Congress, we're going to take a really hard look at Square, the other nice. company that Jack Dorsey is CEO of. And we're going to look at Square. We're going to talk about Twitter. And then we're going to look at Caterpillar, a uh, stock that is, pretty significantly off its highs, but got an upgrade this morning. So we're going to talk about all those. Obviously, we're going to talk about crude oil. We've got a lot to talk about. Uh, Andy Swan is going to come on and talk about Five Below, one of the low-priced oh, yeah. retailers. Yeah. So we have a lot to talk about. Um, you know, we're going to have a technical analysis on Twitter while Jack Dorsey's speaking. So we have a lot to talk about. We're right. We've got our thumbprint right on the pulse of what this market's doing right now. You know what's going to be interesting, too, Kevin, with, with that five below? I, I have it up on the screen, folks. It's trading at 115. This is, this is quite, a, quite, a, quite a deal uh, as to $28 to 115. And I guess, as we're all saying, we're spending money out here, man. I mean, you know, right. you know the, the whole deal about um, retail being dead is like... Passe. That, that was that was two years ago, really, right? No, about a year and a half ago, right? Because you start talking about this about a year and a half ago, really. Do you know what I mean? That hey, listen, man, it's it's starting to come back, and right, it roared back. The U.S. consumer, the U.S. consumer is alive and well and out there. Yeah, and we haven't heard that in so long. No, and just to bring it back, when Kevin talks about Square, I mean, you threw me for a curve. I was expecting Twitter, right, along with the rest of the universe, but we just pulled it up. Twitter, so Twitter's a $25 billion company. Square's a $35 billion company. Pretty remarkable, right. and all the press is, is on Twitter, but guess what? Yeah, Square, quite the company. And Square, and Square is an impressive company. Yeah, it is. What they're doing in the payment space is just really impressive, and I think everyone should, if you're not going to trade it, you should take a look at it, but we're going to surprise you in the trade that, that we're thinking about in Square, because okay. I'll give you a little hint. Too far, too fast. Okay, okay. cool. Okay. Well, you're getting a little bit of a discount this morning, because it's down $4 at 87 you know, right? Folks, so you want to understand option strategies, equities, future strategies, every trading day right here, 11 to 12. Fast Market, Tom White, Kevin Hinks, they're putting on paper trades to bring up the strategies so that you can see how these different strategies work in these different markets. And it's so cool because the bottom line is that there is always a strategy for a market. A real it's question. nice to have defined risk. Not to oh, it, but, you know, because even just looking at Square, I mean, 80, it was at 88 bucks yesterday at the open. It trades up to right. 90 what, 92, and it's back to 88. Those are big percentage moves, man, in, in, in one day. No, yeah. no doubt. Right here, folks, 45 minutes. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the program. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters.
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater Markets, Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back. Folks, uh, Dow's down at uh, 22, Nasdaq's off 88, S&P's are uh, down uh, 13. Um, and what was intriguing yesterday, so we were just talked with Kevin about the, uh, the Dow coming back. Yes. So what you had, folks, is that the Dow did reject lower price yesterday, had, uh, but had an expansion of volume. It's, it was kind of intriguing here, and it was really subtle because it, it, it was hard to get an expansion of volume, actually. No, no, you had lighter volume. You did have lighter volume. Okay, so 783 versus 855. We had 855 on Friday. So if we take a look at this Dow, and what I want to talk about is it's, it's the differential between what the Dow did versus the S&P. So, you know, my take was that, yeah, you get a rejection lower price, you get a little bounce out here and say that's what this is doing. I don't think this is going to hold, but that's, that would be the sure. equation. If we go into the S&P, what you're going to see is that the S&P and the Na and the NASDAQ 100 gave it up into the close. It, it just, it didn't stay down. It didn't stay up, rather. You know what I mean? We came down. You had not a huge expansion of volume. Bottom line, you could say it's light volume, but it didn't hold price. Where the Dow Industrials got into the positive versus the S&P. You know, the S&P, okay. the low for the day was 288. The high was 290. It closed at 289.81. You know, so it's kind of in the middle. It's like a little tiny doji. That's my point. Sure. Um, so it's going to be intriguing watching this whole thing. Well, and then the NDX. Well, let's just see the strength versus the weakness. So the NDX is coming down hard right now. The NDX were at 75.36. Now 75, let's say 75.11 to like 74.98 would get you inside this uh, lower range. Can you go into what uh, what's moving the NDX yeah. uh, right now? I'm just curious. Yeah, with, no, uh, totally. Okay. So Oof. you got... Look at that. Is that work day? What is that's, that? Uh, that's work, work day. day. Yeah. Now, you know, we'll bring that back. That's, I believe this is going to be, and this is my point about uh, Asia. Let me pull this up. I think this, is, I think this is an Asian stock. No, it's not. Worldwide, okay. it says. Maybe going, yeah. can you go where they get their revenue? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a California stock. No. Nope. Just says worldwide. Oh, worldwide. Come on, Bloomberg, break it down. Yeah, right. That's an easy one for them to. That's oh man, that's that's got hit. Can we go into the news? Let's yeah. see what's happening. 
Ah, they, they beat on earnings per share. You think there's anything more going on out there than that? Yeah, maybe. Adjusted EPS beats estimates, but... Pretty remarkable. They have target raises somewhere. Um, look at this. BMO. These are all raises. BMO, Canaccord, Wells Fargo, yeah. Credit Suisse. Um, and the stock is down 13 bucks. Pretty remarkable. I'm just yeah. going to click down and see what their... Uh... Yeah, I mean, numbers are 31 cents versus 26. Where's their outlook, right? What's going on? Raising the 2019? Something's in here that the market's picking up on. No, we'll, totally. we'll check on it in a break. That's, totally. pretty, that's big, always intriguing it's, when it's the a, stock's getting it's tanked. It's a big number. So JD.com, that's down. That's definitely a Chinese stock. That's down 6.8%. Um, uh, Mercado Libro? Libre. Yeah, I almost got it. there. Next time, you got it. Mercado Libre. Down 4.5%. And Align Technology is down at 3.9%. I had you pulled up because I was interested just with uh, the likes of Twitter testifying yeah. in front of Congress. Oh, I know. Facebook, I believe the CEO, Sheryl yeah. Sandberg, is out there. I was wondering maybe if some of the social stocks are getting hit. So um, Facebook's down a buck ninety-three. Yep. You know, it's interesting. So this morning I heard the. So what it's all about, of course, is that, you know, how much. Can they control what's on the social platform? But I heard that the number this one that on Bloomberg, at least they were saying that they hired 20,000 people just to watch what's on it. And I have, Facebook did this. Yeah, okay. but I have that hard to believe because there's only 30,000 employees. <laughs> it's like either that or that's not updated. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, hold it. That you're, tell, is you're telling me that 20,000 of these basically are going to try to, you know. Maybe they're contracted workers in some capacity because yeah. I find that 30,000 even hard to believe. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so maybe it's something because if you think about it, I'm just because you're right, uh, maybe that's something that, you know, those types of workers could probably do that in any capacity as oh, long yeah. as you have a computer across the world. Right. So maybe it's something that they somehow are trying to sublet out, put them on a contractor status. Yeah. Use, it, use taxes, AI to get stuff, it done. Right? Yeah. And uh, as Tommy and I are speaking, folks, uh, whatever's going on, they just sold the S&P down quick. There's a, so you get an intraday ABC down now. We're down 19 bucks in the S&P. Um, this, there's some action out here today. This is, uh, you get the composite off 111. That was a fast 35 points. Yes. <laughs> so the NASDAQ composite's down 1.3%. You get the uh, S&P's down 3 tenths. Um, Dow is down uh, 2 tenths. So the Dow's not the number. The S&P the looks to me like a number. I heard another number today, too. So let, check this out. That Amazon is 4% of the S&P. Okay. And Apple's 4% of the S&P. Okay. Isn't that amazing? Why do you say that's amazing? I don't because find that startling. Uh, that first. means it's 8% two yes. stocks of the S&P. They represent $2 trillion of market cap. Yeah. I mean, well, that's, and they're less than 10% of the S&P. Um, as in, but there's 500 stocks in the S&P. Tell me what the market cap is of the right. 500th stock. I oh, mean, I'm just, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's probably puddles right. compared but that's, to... That's, that's a big heads up, man. You know? Oh, for they, sure. They pull back at all. That S&P is going to get smoked. They should, and, and, you know? and rightfully it should, though, because it's very representative. I mean, if Apple and Amazon are tanking, the economy's in trouble. Like, that is, that is, that's so, it should. Wild. Yeah. No, so it's I, wild, for when, sure. When you, when you... Text me last night about uh, Bezos. This is that's it, man. We're having a correction because it's, it's, it's just it's it's a counterintuitive deal, but it's like, are you kidding me? It's it's you know? the likes of wealth creation that we I, I hesitate to never seen before because Bill Gates in the same way you revolutionize something. Oh yeah, you know that's he had that and rise. We, and for we sure. weren't around when uh, Rockefeller was around because when you pu I pulled this up before and. Uh, we'll have to pull it up in the break. When you see that the wealth that was happened then, I believe right. it was no, even more similar than this. Times, right? Yeah. I mean, right. it's very similar. You know, it's it's. I think the numbers, but it would be great to look at. But so here's here's kind of your beginning. So we went from you know 1180 to 2000. So the price is almost doubled. That's December of, the, of this year. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, which to double, I mean, in fairness, it was almost one of the biggest companies in the world at that time. It was right. already over $500 billion, um, but that's, you know, you don't, you don't see that type of return. Now, just, just watch this, folks. Imagine that the, uh, let's see, the next earnings call for Amazon is October 25th. Could you imagine them do a 10 for 1 split? <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. What's interesting is that these companies, these come, they don't mind being up here, right? I mean, there's some ability where it no, they takes don't. away kind of the shorting power of, of oh, some yeah, retail yeah. investors oh, to get in there and yeah. short. 
Um, it hasn't hurt them. Right. It, so that's what's intriguing. Has, that is now, them. I mean, it might be something that, you know, your, your price is at $2,000. You're better off with institutional investors that can buy thousands of shares even at that price as opposed to the retail investor that you could be fickle or yeah I'm not sure but I'm sure they have conversations about it I would love to be a fly on the wall to hear about you know should we keep the stock at 2,000 what if we had 2,500 are we just gonna let it run to 10,000 right what's the plan so we're looking at some of the trades out here from this morning folks and the amounts of money that on when you're trading in, in Amazon is phenomenal because just look at how happy this guy is here, a woman. <laughs> you know, they sold the 2038. It's the 2004. Well, you know, yeah, okay. 2,000 shares, right? Sure. That's another seventy-two thousand dollars. Flip side, there's there's somebody that bought at that side, right? Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying you say this guy or woman. There's, that's a buy and a sell. Oh yeah, yeah. that's that's for sure. Stay right there, folks. Dow, down 59. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at some of the uh, higher volume equities out here and see what we have uh, happening, see what's moving around. We get a lot of movement, that's for we sure. We do. Talk about, we talk to Kevin every morning and talk about fast market. It's quite a great name, man. This market is fast as can be right now. It is. It is. So we got uh, advanced micros up there every day. Is the, people just love to trade that, evidently. Yeah. Um, that's the down 79 cents. You get Micron uh, Tech uh, down 186. 
Twitter's off a of buck seventy-seven. You know, just I mean, AMD as you jump, because you're right. It's like always kind of a little bit of a mystery. But man, maybe it's just I mean, because it's volatile for twenty-seven dollar stock. That's, yeah, it you is. know, it's it's trading it, almost a dollar today, and it is always jumping around. And it was up a couple bucks yesterday. Right. So right. it's it's probably a, a recipe of a bunch of things that people like trading. That. Yeah, because twenty-seven bucks. You figure if you're on margin, you know, that's uh, thirteen thousand, right? Right. You know, if you get 50,000 in your account, you're buying 50, about 5,000, selling 5,000 at a time if you're day trading. You know, just actually keep with keep day it trading, it's less than that, I was more just than saying, that. Just even keep it 1,000 for simple math. You know, you're right. putting up 13 grand today, it's almost up a dollar. You almost did 1,000 bucks on, on 13 if you sold it short or whatever right. it is, right? That's big, big percentages. Oh, now, look at this, folks. This is, this is pretty intense, okay? Was, <laughs> this is... Another the, cannabis stock. Oh, this my, one's been talked about. This is, like, uh, pretty intense. You're talking about... Um, the stock went public at seventeen dollars, but you could have bought it at twenty. Are they going to be the next Rockefeller story? Go ahead, sorry. <laughs> it's you know to me I, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know, it really doesn't. Um, you know, you get a, you get a market cap out here oh. of seven point five billion. Yep. And you have revenue. They did nine point seven million. That's that's all they got, right? Yeah. Now here, watch. I'm going to bring up canopy growth on the other side because I yep. did this yesterday, and it's it's you know they they they're both pretty amazing, okay? But I just want to show you the differential is pretty intense. So canopy growth is trading sixty eight dollars. Why don't we just slide it over so okay, the same yeah. so you can see? Because this is a fifteen billion dollar company, so about twice the size of the company of yeah. Tilray as you go over. And now, now watch this. Watch the revenue though. Yeah. They did 25 million. Yes. The other and they're guys about did, to take in 93. Right. And the other guy did nine. Yeah. The other company, yep. Yeah. So, and then you, when, I, when I look at this too, watch. If you employees, go, right? Is there no? Uh, look at that. Well, they don't even list their employees. Yeah. When I was bringing this up yesterday, I said, okay, why aren't your employees out here? Okay. That's, that's really important. Yes. And one of the tigers told me, I didn't read it, but he, he, Kelly was telling me in the den telling all of us in the den, actually, that you should read this prospectus when this thing went public, because there's something in that prospectus that he was, oh, here he is. Uh, um, he was saying something in the, yeah, we'll have to. Uh, so privateer holding, I guess, okay. class one shares. Uh, yeah. How do we get into the ownership? I guess uh, it's not PH listed. PHDC, no, we can do that. PHDC. They got going. And then hit uh, security ownership. So there's there the is. company. So the oh, privateer, yeah, they own seventy six percent of it. Oh, that's always a little worrisome too. Yeah, I don't like when one company basically you're investing in a personal company. Yeah, you know, I mean that's right. something. Right. Oh that no, no, totally. They can do whatever they want. There's yeah. no, there's no um, shareholder approval yep. of anything. Um, and then, remarkable. Yeah. Go ahead, Rory. And then if we go into Crone, let's go into the Crone also because Crone is um, twelve oh four. This is yeah. a high today. Hit third. And, and sorry, just as you yeah. finish, the, Kelly was talking about in the den that uh, only those class share ones have a vote, and you're dealing with class one, class two, so it's even more, more yeah. you know, preponderant than that. Yeah. So this is a market cap of uh, 2.1 billion. This is even sicker. This took in 3.4 million. Yeah. But check this out, folks. This has seven employees. <laughs> yeah, remarkable. Okay. So make sure you, if, you, if you're getting into these, you know, Right. Bottom line, you know. Talk about the risk of, of both ways there. Yeah, this is know. a huge score. I mean, oh, Jim from Minneapolis. Right. I mean, it was a huge score, but guess what? It was a huge score unless you bought it at 12, right? And then happened to get scared out of your position. Oh. Scared in the right way, as you should. When it yeah. drops to 9, you got in at 12, you get 25% haircut. And um, yeah. you, you got to be, yeah, it's just a, a high risk, high reward situation when you're getting into stocks. We talked about before, pretty similar to some of the gold explorations. New, new company based on a story and a promise that is going to come true in some situations. And guess what? Other situations, it's not. There's going to be competitors oh. that have 2019 forecasts that aren't going to come to fruition. When because, And they're not lying. They're just going to get pushed out of the market for some reason, right? Competitors are going to eat them up. They're going to, they're going to lose their spot in the market. When you look um, at the aspect, it was pretty cool, too, because Kelly was saying you got to look at it per gram. So I really stopped looking at that. I was... I was uh, doing work on canopy growth. Okay. And what it is, folks, it's it's, it's what they can produce per gram, so, meaning okay. at you know, and their factories, meaning all the flowers, the buds, because that's the beginning of the deal. What it costs them to produce per gram, and what okay. they get per gram. You sure. know, 
uh, when you actually break it down. Not to bring it back to gold, but come on, right? I mean, same thing. What do you, what exact do you, what's same it thing. What's it going to cost you to get it out of the ground? And right. what are you going to sell it for? Yeah. And, but, you know, when I look at it, I mean, I, I think these stocks are going to do really well on a continual basis. But I think they're overvalued in a huge way right now. And the reason I'm saying that is like, okay, it's grass is a weed. Like, so, you know, I don't think there's going to be a, there's a, a huge amount of, uh, there's going to be competition. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if Tobacco's you Tobacco's a weed too, though. Right. Believe me, I run it over on my own head. Oh, yeah. You're right. But it's intriguing how, um, the, it, you know, how the market somehow develops. Where oh, it, listen, there's no doubt. Once it, it, it's available, you're five and dime store down the street you know it's it's it doesn't mean that everyone's going to start growing in their backyard but it, it's the the it's so new i agree you know that's yeah. why i stress it's a high risk some people are going to flourish and other people are going to get pushed out because there aren't going to be those i can picture areas where. i can picture so picture that if we were actually in colorado so yeah colorado is recreationally Yes, recreational Fine. medicinal. So There's the, a lot of places the, now the, in the, Ma Massachusetts. Let's go to Massachusetts. They're oh, recreational. There you go. They're pretty, about to have stores, yeah. Okay, so any place that's really recreational, picture that you're just a kid growing up. Well, you're going to learn how to grow pot. You know? Sure. I mean... So there's going to be some good pot growers out there. Yes. You know, it's like, okay, why do I have to buy it? Yeah. You know, can yep. you grow it yourself in Massachusetts? You can. You can. Okay, yeah. right. You're so, allowed to have plants already. I believe it's six plants per a person. Okay. Up to 12. So if you're in a household with two adults, you can have 12. You can't have any more than that. 12 plants. Yeah, oh it's, it's, it's right. It's, it's more than any anybody should need for any personal type of deal. And that's, well, that's that, the goal, you know? Yeah. No, I, I, yeah. I, that's going to make a difference. That bottom line is that um, the, the states are going to make a fortune. That, that's the other side of this. It is. You know? Yeah. And, and that's, you know, bottom line, folks, these states need money, too. That's, yeah. that's the other side of it. You're talking about, you know, nine figures of taxes, 100 million, 200 million, yeah. you know, not small potatoes, for yeah. sure. Politicians will love spending that money. Yes. You gotta love it. Yes. 877-927-664. We go over that, take a look at that dollar, folks. Uh, what you're going to see inside the dollar, bottom line is that, uh, I think it was 920. I don't know what came out at 920. Is that 920? Yeah. I think it's 9 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's 9 o'clock. There okay. might have been something at 8.55, 9 o'clock yeah. that came out as well. We'll pull it up, but yeah. And if we actually do take a look at that, you're going to see, you get, we get volume here. There's 18,000 on the way down. That's big volume. Uh, we only went up yesterday on 21, I believe. Speaking 22. Of, I was going to say, speaking of currencies, it's a nice segue. we got a guest coming up. Oh. Teddy Kegstead coming uh, up, talking Forex. Forex trading unlocked. That's a beautiful thing. Stay is. right there, folks. Teddy, coming back with Tommy and I. Dow right now, down 60 Nasdaq off a buck and a quarter. Come right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. SAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. 
For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv for the latest market information Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now down 50. You get the Nasdaq off a buck and a quarter. S&Ps are down 18. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Ke Teddy Kegstad, as we do each and every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. Uh, Teddy can be found at Forex Trading Unlocked. Uh, Teddy Kegstad, what's going on, brother? Morning, guys. Good to be with you guys again today. Morning, you Teddy. also. And we, we got some movement out here. Good old, uh, the good old UK. What's happening on that UK over there, Teddy? Yeah, the British pound U.S. dollar, it's like a balloon underwater, the way it took traders off guard this morning, huh? It's, so, you know, we got, we got the uh, chart up here. This was right. like a rocket ship, folks, and inside the currency business, I mean, you see this, but this is why you bet if you're trading currencies, uh, the Nadex platform, uh, defined risk is a big number because uh, if you're on the wrong side of this trade this morning, you're blown up. 120 yeah. to like 130 on the right. pound almost. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and the irony of this move was this morning, about four hours ago, all the analysts were pumping down the levels saying that they were looking for the pound to be basically about four handles lower in direction than where it is right now. Okay. So that's it's a major major turn of events today for a lot, a lot of bears got just really, really hurt today. Yeah, and this, I mean, this is some strength, man. We just went from 127 to 129, folks, okay? Um, big number. And I guess the, I mean, it seems like when you read some of those news articles, Teddy, is that they're saying that basically uh, Germany just said, okay, we, we'll get, we're caving in, right? We're, we're going to um, basically do a deal. They made some concessions in yeah, some way. And we'll negotiate uh, the rest of this after you guys leave. So <laughs> that's, like Tommy just said to me, I was telling him, he says, well, why are they going to negotiate afterwards? Yeah, so <laughs> they're not going to get, get anything. done now, right. that's your leverage, right. um, but we'll see, yeah. Sure. So, so do you think we have a change of trend here, Teddy, inside that uh, pound? I do, I do, especially for a holiday week trade. I think this is a fantastic little bull move. I think the British pound is probably going to hit up to the 131 area before it starts to turn back. Now, I don't think it's in a bull market by any means, but I think just with the short-term news, this is really big for the currency that it could help put the pound dollar into a bottoming phase. Yes. So not not a bullish turn of events, but probably a bottoming phase. So uh, how about the euro? What do you think with the euro here? The euro, I like that too. I think for the rest of the week, you can see a little pop. I'm looking for it to get up to 117 half, maybe 118 even, not much more than that, because this news is something that it's great for the day and I think for the week trade, because it's a holiday market kind of thing. Yeah. It's gonna be good. I, I think there's so much more news that has to come out, and it, like you just said before, it's kind of ambiguous. Once the deal, once the Brexit happens, what are you going to negotiate afterwards, right? Yeah, so, I have to chuckle because it's like now's the time. If you can't get it done now, everybody has a lot of interested, you know, parties oh, yeah. to what's going on. Yeah. And, right. So, you, you know, you, for those currencies, the yen, the yen U.S. dollar, I think that's another one that's going to be probably a little bullish too for the end of the week. 
So, so I got the yen up here. Which, when you say bullish, are you talking about a stronger yen? Um, yeah, I think okay. that uh, you're probably going to see uh, the, the yen get a little bit stronger, just because the trade the, the trade deals are still going to be in, in the works, and right now it seems that it's really not impacting them so much. So I think that yeah, I think the yen will probably gain a little bit of strength. Even the Nikkei will see some strength. So especially as the S and P's start to take off, it'll take a little bit of a uh, heat off the bull rally. Yeah, well, you know what's intriguing is that the yeah, I just pulled up the you know the I mean. Uh, Shanghai got smoked last night. It was down 2.6 percent. Uh, but even with the, the strength in the Nikkei last night, um, the bottom line is that the oh no, sorry, strength in no, the, that's right. That's that's dollar was up last night. I think, yeah, no, no, okay, so okay. It put a little weakness. Yeah, no, it, it was weakness. No, that, that, that'd be that'd be yeah. well. No, actually, the the, the 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 yen is getting weaker at 111. Right to the dollar, and the the Nikkei was down last night, so that that's a disconnect too. That's going to be interesting to see how that shakes out, man. Right, but I think that's going to actually turn around, though. I think that they're going to have a little bit of strength coming to the Nikkei over the next like week or two. Okay. okay. Yeah. I think you made a great point though, Teddy, talking about the pound. I would look at it the same way as in if you're going to be trading that, we always talk about the find risk. We're talking about Kevin Hinks earlier, but. You should be expecting these types of news events in the pound in particular, where like right. there's a timetable here, and while you can't expect it on a daily basis, right? This is something that you should be aware. Of. This stuff's going to happen. And guess what? What we just heard, that could get reversed in two days or something. Oh nothing, yeah, nothing is done yet. <laughs> yeah. so. Pound definitely swings very, very violently, without a doubt. Yeah. Boy, I'm glad my money's not on a pound. You know, I, I was... <laughs> Should have been this morning. Now you can sell yeah, it. No, <laughs> no. I, 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 mean, I agree with you. I mean, just kidding, in yeah. general right. that, you know, um, I was, I, we were talking uh, yesterday. I, I, when this whole thing happened, I was sitting with some guys downtown St. Pete that they happen to own a lot of real estate also, and they got totally smoked because they had just had a purchase and sales on a place. Okay. They hadn't put their pounds into U.S. dollars That's yet. That's the problem, right? Right. They lost 20% in about 25 minutes. I mean, you're you're making a trade oh. almost when you're about to make a big transaction oh, like that. Oh, there's no and doubt. You keep it in a, a, a currency you're not going to be using. Right. I mean, what are you're 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 basically making a six-figure forex it, it trade. Was, it was a disaster. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> it's, it's you know, it, Teddy. So, what do you think about the the aspect of all these different countries? that they've, the currency has lost so much value. Are you talking about for like the, the EU, you mean, are you talking about, or are you talking I'm ta about the, well, emerging? I'm talking, yeah, I'm really talking Brazil, Argentina, India, South Africa. Oh, Mexico you know, pesos getting hurt today, that, think, that just in general, I mean, we I haven't seen something like this in a long hit. period of time. I think they're going to continue to get hit, and I think that one of the main reasons is that the cryptocurrencies are becoming so popular in a lot of those in a lot of those countries for trade or also just basic services in local areas that I think that those currencies are going to continue to be devalued just because of wow how I cool agree. is that oh, yeah totally. no you know, I can we see were that over there and I'm sure yeah. we talked about it those dictators those even if they're just president whatever oh, yeah. it is they're trying to put the clamp down because they know it too you know and if you oh that's, I, you can't I, quite put that clamp down that's a great that's a great theory man yeah. no this I can see that man because guess what they have India's lost half their buying power in four years it's like sure. and there's billions of people there I mean we're talking about like definitely I can see that man that's interesting I well, think unless they take all their smartphones away, there's no way they can prevent it from happening. Right, really because that, that's the, that's the number. The only, the only place I see in the world that you can't is North Korea, because it takes that type of clamp down right. to have no internet. Sure. Basically, right. everybody else in, in the whole planet, if you have the ability and maybe some few dollars to get the technology to do it, oh, yeah. which it's worth it in a lot of cases, oh, right? Um, you can make sure. that happen, yeah. Pretty right. wild, man. Absolutely. Got to love it. Listen, folks, you can learn more about uh, Teddy by uh, going over to his website, um, uh, Forex Trading Unlocked. That's right. And it's actually Forex-Trading-Unlocked. Get it out right. there. Totally. Totally. And then, of course, you can write at TFNN. Teddy's always got some good writing, some good courses. Head on over there to Nadex Market News, Nadex Educational Webinars. And they got a lot of good stuff going on there. And I know Teddy's always got some good workshops. There's our man Jason Paff up there. Is that today? That's tomorrow. Perfect. Check that out. Teddy, thanks so much, man. You have a great Thank week, you. safe week. We look forward to speaking in next Wednesday. 
You too. Take care, guys. Thank Stay. you. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow right now down 16. Nasdaq's off 100. S&Ps are down 14. We're coming right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, folks, let's go to uh, Bill in Springfield, Missouri. Hey, Bill, what's going on? Oh, not a whole lot. Uh, Tom, I listened to you talk about these uh, pot stocks for the last six or eight months, and you've always talked about the uh, canopy growth. But yes. I, weed is what shows up on your website here, but uh, I cannot pull that stock symbol up. So, yeah, I'm saying, you know, and I'll change this, Bill. I appreciate the call, too. So it's CGC, folks, in the U.S. Yeah, like standing for Canopy Growth Corporation. Right, I believe, so. CGC. So, uh, and I'll stop pulling this one up versus the other one. So this is the one that trades in the United States. It's liquid. It's already done 18 million shares today. The low yeah. is $7.00. For the year, the high is 56 59 which, which is today. Today, which is $5 higher than it was just yeah. a few. Yeah. And so bottom line is that don't buy it today, folks. Okay, let this, I know, this is a rocket show. Quite a, a pullback from that open. Yeah. So. All right, all right. Uh, Tom, there's another stock. Uh, I can't pronounce it, but uh, looking at the uh, monitor here, I Glaucos, G-L-A-U-K-O-S. I think we've taken a look at that and one before. G-L-A-U. 
There we go. There it is. Right. So okay. GKOS Glaucos. So let's that, let's take a I think look. We have looked at that. Is that a medical stock? Operates, uh, yeah, medical. ophthalmic medical technology. Oh yeah, glaucoma. Um, glaucoma. We've looked at this. You know, yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. It seemed like they were by. I remember we looked at it on that day. It jumped from 45 to 70. Yeah. And so, what are we doing with this? What are you looking at here? Well, I'm looking at that gap way down there at 45 dollars. Yeah. Don't buy this thing yet. That that gap will get filled. It's kind of like a biotech well, in terms of that's on news and, yeah. and just be wary. Right quick, are the medical pots a little safer than the other pots? Oh, I think they're both some high risks there, Bill. There's, there's can... high risk, but if we wait, wait for a big pullback. We'll talk about it more tomorrow, Bill. Give us Appreciate a call. it. Thanks, Bill. Stay right there. Fast, fast markets coming up, folks. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, man. Wham! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.